Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 1. Greeting, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving and prayer. I thank my God in all remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making my prayer with joy, because of the partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that we begin a good work in you, will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about you all, because I hold you in my heart. For you all are partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I yearn for all of you with affection of Christ Jesus. And it is my prayer that you love your love may abound more and more, with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent, And so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Christ Jesus to the glory and praise of God. The Advance of the Gospel I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really served to advance the gospel, so that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard to the rest that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers, having become confident in the Lord by imprisonment, are such more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but other for goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of flesh ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in, in imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether it pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and that I rejoice. To live in Christ. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that through the prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be ashamed but that with full courage now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For me to live is in Christ, and to to die is to gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet, which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I am hard-pressed between the two. My desire is to part and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with all for the progress and joy in your faith, so that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ Jesus because of my coming to you. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or I am absent, I may hear of you, that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving side by side by faith of gospel, and not frightened in anything by your opponents. This is a clear sign to them of their destruction, but of your salvation, and that from God. For it has been granted to you that for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him, but also suffer for his sake. Engaged in the same conflict, that you saw I had a now here that I still have. So this is the introduction to the letter to the Philippians from Paul. He's in prison, yet he's still thankful to the Lord and rejoices for his salvation. And he expresses his love for the people that he's writing to. And now also he talks about being in between two different thoughts. Wanting to be with Christ, but also wanting to be in the flesh so that he can serve others. Now, as Christians, we struggle with that too, because it would be easy for us to just say, okay, Christ, just come back and 
be done with it so that we can be in paradise or that maybe we want to go to heaven right away but then there's still work to be done so you want to stay in the flesh so that you can help reach as many people as we can before we end up going to heaven because once we're in heaven we can't help the people that are lost on this earth so this is what he's talking about he's in jail in prison for his faith and to die would be the gain because he, he knows that he'll end up in heaven with Christ but then he also prays to stay alive because he knows his work is not done because he has more work to do through Christ and the same reason we're here if you're on earth right now that means God has God has a purpose for your life your mission is not done yet so remember that as you walk through life each and every day remember that God has a purpose for you thank you for listening to this edition of reading through the Bible we will see you tomorrow for topics